Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a Dollar Tree haul. Okay, hi guys. Oh my gosh, okay, it feels so good to be filming right now. It's been a little bit. Um, what you saw in the previous weeks, I did in the previous week, so I've taken like a week or two off from filming, which has been nice because we've been super busy. We are getting ready to go camping with my in-laws for three days. And so we have a pop-up camper and they have like a large camper. I don't know. It has like a bedroom, bathroom, you know, the nice kitchen, living room area where you can actually enjoy it. We, our camper is like a glorified tent is what we say. Um, it sleeps eight of us, which is great. Now it might be interesting as kids get older, hopefully by then we're able to get a bigger camper, but for this weekend, it'll be just fine. Um, so, well, I was thinking about it. It's really hot here in Nebraska. And I thought to myself, if you can hear somebody sniffing, it's Goldie. She hears me talking. <laughs> um, do you smell my lunch? <laughs> Anyways, it's supposed to be super hot out. And so I was like, okay, what could we do in the camper? Because grandpa and grandma want to spend time with us. So we take, we're taking library books. And then I went to the Dollar Tree and got a couple different crafts that the kids can do. Hi, I see you. I'm gonna move you guys over just a little bit so she can, there we go. Okay, you sit down. Um, so that grandpa and grandma can enjoy the kids in the camper and the air conditioning when it gets to be that point of day where they can't be out. So anyways, okay, I'm gonna show you what I got. Starting off with chalk. Not something they can do in the camper, but I despise chalk. Despise it, despise it, despise it. It drives me crazy when my kids get chalk and then they get it all over and you know it's covering everything and you have to take a bath after you use chalk and so i got chalk because i was like while we're camping you guys can use chalk so chalk for the dollar tree we've never used this um but i mean it, it, it needs to last three days so that'll be okay and hopefully it doesn't come home with us oh goldie girl paint with water sea life i thought these would be fun for story and turbo to do in the um, camper just um, you know you just use water and it's got different pictures it seems like this was age appropriate um, and won't make too big of a mess which will keep grandma really happy so I got this one and then I got the superhero one turbo will probably want the superhero one because he's totally into superheroes um, so that's for story and turbo for in the camper. And then to go along with it, I just got a set of paint brushes. I thought that they would enjoy that rather than using like a Q-tip, you could use that or your fingers. So these two things are three things. Then I got watercolors, just two of these. Um, and they come with, oh yeah, it says brush included, one brush included. There are eight colors. Um, I got these because we have lots of craft paper and I thought we'll just take the craft paper and they can use these. Um, we have a tablecloth too that we can take so that these can kind of, um, they don't make too big of an us, but the older girls are pretty responsible. So I think they can handle these. Then I got these Crayola sun catchers. This one is a unicorn. How cute is that? Can you see that good? Oh my goodness, so cute. So it came with red, yellow, blue, and white and a paintbrush. I bet you grandma's gonna love these because she loves anytime the kids do those little sun catchers. Uh, she loves them and she probably has them still hanging up in her kitchen window. It's been a little while since I've looked, but these are bigger. We'll see if the girls wanna give these to grandma or keep them. But so here's the unicorn one, whale one, A lion, I thought in case Turbo was interested, Atticus is definitely not gonna be interested. He's gonna roll his eyes and go off fishing. I'm confident of it. <laughs> a llama one, Harlow, I know she's gonna love this. I just, she loves all things llamas right now. We've moved on from the unicorn um, world with the eight year olds and up, like they're over unicorns and now it's llamas. A fox, how cute is that? I don't know which girl will like this. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so it shows on the back here what you can do to mix the colors to get the color you want. Oh, that's neat since it only comes with red, yellow, blue, and white. Cool. That was it for those. 
And then I got these sparkle by number unicorn things, which I don't know how big of a hit they'll be because you know, they're kind of over unicorns, but so it's one bag of gems for one poster. And so sparkle by number, I assume like when you open it, it'll have the numbers out etched in there and you can put the sparkles on it. But I thought those were fun. So I got four of those, one for each girl. Oh, these two are different. These are littler ones. I thought grandma would enjoy doing these with them. Um, Nathan's grandparents are, I believe, in their 70s, 80s, and they're phenomenal grandparents to our kids. They do a great job entertaining them, but they also don't tell our kids no. So like if our kids are like, let's do, let's do, let's do, they're like, sure, sure, sure. And I just know that the heat gets to them easily. And so I'm just trying to think like, we, I'm sure we'll watch a movie or two in their camper or something like that, just to give them some low key time in the middle of all of it. They're so great though. All six of our kids, never too much for them. And that just makes me so grateful. And I'm excited to spend lots of time with them over the next three days. Anyways, that's it. It was $20, $20 Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> um, if you have not liked our channel, would you please do that? And we'll see you next time. Bye guys.